Well, blood donations are very low at this point as they dropped here in our state during the holidays. Joining us now in the sponsored segment is Christopher Thresher from The Advocates and Sherry Van Bibber from the American Red Cross. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hi. Oh, so happy to have you. How are you? Okay, Christopher, jump in. Remind us why you do what you do and the partnership bringing Sherry on today. You know, we, we come on this segment to recognize community advocates, you know, people that are in the community making a difference. And, you know, one thing that's been on the news a lot lately is that blood donations are down, you know, and, and hospitals need blood because patients are coming in sick and they need blood transfusions. And, you know, I can't think of another kind of more, you know, selfless endeavor than donating blood because it's one of these kind of unrecognized things that you do and you don't receive a lot of recognition for it. You don't see where it goes, but there's a need and it's a significant need that saves lives. And so we brought Sherry on here to talk a little bit about blood donations and something that we're doing, the Advocates is doing on March 18th to help kind of help solve this issue and you know and, and yeah. get blood donations. Well the Advocates loves to share with all of our viewers heroes in our community and we could not agree more that Sherry is one of those. She's a good friend of ours here on the show with the American Red Cross. Let's talk about the situation as far as blood donations right now in our state. Yeah, we are. It's always difficult when you come off of the holidays in December. And um, usually we've got the flu running around too. And usually weather, we haven't had too bad of a, of a winter so far, knock on wood. But um, I always say this blood drive always comes. We, it's become an annual blood drive yeah. for the advocates, which is amazing to have partners. Our office in Murray. Yeah. We need, yes, we yeah. need partners like, like this more and more, um, especially with all the businesses that have gone to hybrid. Um, and so it's just been a, a huge need, uh, again, um, where we just aren't, only 3% of our state donates. And it just Wait, now, let's let that sink in for a second. Isn't only, that, it's only 3% for yeah. the state that does the most service. That gives the gives. Why do you think that is? Because it's easier to go canning or... <laughs> or do other things, I think, to, to get a needle in your arm. But I always suggest, it's such a bucket list thing, too, if you've never done it, um, you, should, you should do it because it's kind of like reading the palm of your hand, knowing your blood type. And it's, it's a free kind of mini um, get well um, moment. You get your blood pressure and your pulse and all of that read to you. And I, we've had many people um, end up that have found out that they've had tumors and different things like that from donating blood um, because their white cell count are off or their blood pressure is too high. So it's just a really good mini well check. Well, knowledge is everything when it yes. comes to this. Yeah, 3%. That's mind blowing. So tell us why we should, who this blood is going to how we can save lives and impact the community. Yeah, well, I mean, we just, um, I have four little neighbors under eight years old right now dealing with leukemia and cancer and tumors who are having to get blood transfusions every week. We just, primary hospital is opening in Lehigh um, this coming month. And this is my little friend, Aria, right there. And she took transfusions all the time. And um, that, this is the thing, if you've got leukemia, these little kids are taking, you think our body holds 12 units of blood. We can all spare one unit, but when you're going through things like that, you have to flush the system out and you go through many, many units of blood a week. And so, I mean, that's just one case, but then you have the accidents and those type of things happening too, but you've got your cancer and leukemia and it's just ongoing and it's never ending. Sherry, I had no idea that one donation only lives 42 days. Yeah. It has a shelf life. That's why we call people all the time and they're like, stop calling me. And we're like, well, we only have 3% and you're a donor. And Please come again. Blood type Please come need. again. Yeah. So that's why this event is so important. Why yeah. does the advocates do it every single year? Yeah, because we reckon, I mean, there's a need in the community. You know, we want to help fulfill that. And, and you know, people out there, I mean, this is one of those things that saves lives. It makes a difference, you know, and we encourage people to come participate. We have a blood drive at our office in Murray on the 18th of March. Yes. Sherry's going to be One there. To one to yeah. seven. We'll be entertaining. Um, $10 Sherry gift cards, right? <laughs> yes, $10, $10 gift cards, and you can get it wherever you want. Yeah. Amazon helping out there to get the word out, donating a $20 coupon mailed to the donors, too. So all the incentives we can think of, but seeing the pictures of the children, if that's not so enough. Doing earlier. That little face. Yes. Is she cute? Yeah. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, Recognizing you. people in our community, everyone. Advocate if you would like to nominate somebody, abc4.com slash community advocate, and we'll put that information on our website, abc4.com slash GTU and our thanks to the advocates for this sponsored interview. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you.